what's up guys today i'm gonna be reacting to some long arts scary animations uh link to the channel down below uh subscribe to that channel if you haven't already um so this is a channel that does scary uh animations based off a so this is what happens so this other channel called mr nightmare um does these voice stories and like takes stories from people i think and then llama arts animates that and puts that on youtube so um yeah after watching these videos i think there's gonna be a few uh, ghosts in this house <laughs> I think I just killed the ghost. Alright, so we're not completely prepared for the ghosts. So, first of all, you gotta get a blanket. <coughs> right? And you also have to get your dog. She's she's on the other side of my desk. I'll show you. There's like a hole in my desk for some reason. It's for wires, but here's my doogie. Here's Chloe. She's asleep right now, so she wouldn't be able to vanquish monsters anyway. Back to me, though. Stay up! I said stay up! Alright, so. Animation number one is going to be a creepy, dark web, deep web story. Uh, number two. There is a different one where, like... Is stuff happens, but we're watching number two first. Then we're gonna watch uh, the first one. All right. Ooh. And it fell again. Boop. All right. A creepy deep web story. Do. I was 26 years old. Okay. And I was unemployed. Feeling unfulfilled by the monotony of the job life, I decided I would try my hand at working from home. So my days and nights comprised me. Work, stupid computer. Oh. I was a big procrastinator, so more often than not, I'd stray away and waste time doing other things. <laughs> He's watching PewDiePie. One day, I came across a talk about the deep web while on Reddit. I felt amused by the people deep talking web. Don't go on the deep web. It was something so it's scary. bad. I decided I'd look into it. Oh my gosh. It was stupid of me to go on it in the first place. Yeah, it was stupid. It was even sillier by deciding to check it out late at night. It was about 2 a.m. 2 a.m.? When's your bedtime, dude? Me. The person I got was a woman. She was in her early 20s and very pretty. She oh, hey, Chloe. I can see you through the way of hole. The webcam while batting her my dog woke up. I'm gonna... I had no desire to turn my camera on and just started our chat thinking that while I didn't come across anything scary, I should befriend this pretty girl. It sounded like a better deal anyway. No, she told me to turn the camera easy. on, no? but I ignored that request and tried to get her to talk. She finally did after some prodding, but I noticed how guarded she was. I also noticed how after every message I sent, her eyes would look off camera, I just broke either my to her side gun. or somewhere behind her computer. I broke my gun. After a while, it started getting gun. annoying, so I asked her Dang if someone it. else was there with her. Out of Jesus. She said, up until no. now, I've been chatting while she answered my questions verbally. <laughs> Not that serious. Don't be scared. She said, laughing. Oh, no. Looking behind no. Her <clears throat> again, yeah, I would be scared. Actually, I wouldn't, because I wouldn't even be on the deep web anyway. Someone else. This is getting boring. It feels like I'm not just talking to you. Because you're not. Who else is there? Is this a joke? Turn it on. Okay. I'll be leaving now. Turn on the camera. No! Her laughter was almost piercing by now. There was nothing humorous about the situation, yet she threw her head back with riot oh. I'd had enough, I moved the cursor over to turn the chat box off when I saw the cursor again. The only thing that was working was the chat box, and I still had access to the keyboard. Crap. Turn the camera on, sweetie. No! Her 
gumdrop filled voice was louder than before when I moved my gaze up to see her smiling peacefully at the camera. Her face still beautiful, but the smile completely fake. I was scared. I hear the trash I cut to the screen. Sorry. I lied. I didn't want her to know I had no option but to Just chat. take just but turn off your camera. Before going blank. There was nothing there but a black screen. I felt relieved thinking that at least I didn't need to talk to her while I tried to figure out what happened to the screen. <laughs> Just then, a chat message popped up. Open the damn camera, you bitch. No! The aggressiveness in the message frightened me. <laughs> now, the fact that I couldn't see her face while she typed this made me feel nervous. I didn't dare reply back. But then the cursor moved. She's evil. I watched oh, no. the shell shock as the cursor no, tore no. around the screen. Put your thumb over the camera, like this! Still didn't make a move. What's that? No way anything good would be. Be smart, don't be dumb. She did what she asked. The screen began flickering, <laughs> as if a virus was causing the computer to Ooh, rise. Oh, she gave you a virus. Did you want me to find the menu? My heart raced. Could it no. be possible she knew where I was? <gasps> no. I started typing. Please stop bothering me. Just turn on the freaking camera. By this point, I thought she was some kind of sadist. Got her kicked by scary, unassuming people in chat rooms. I don't know. I was scared. So I obliged and turned the webcam on. I oh saw my, my frightened face staring into the screen. <laughs> Judging by my face, my attempts at looking tough were painfully unsuccessful. I asked around for the girl looking straight into the camera, telling her I did what she wanted and to stop hacking into my computer. There were several seconds of silence. I kept my stare directed to the little box that showed her camera feed. It was pitch black. I motioned into the camera in confusion, feeling as if she was messing with me now. Then, I saw another message. After a few seconds of staring at those words, I looked back at her camera, but my computer instantly malfunctioned, and I received another message. The chat was filled with nonsensical gibberish. She typed with such Whoa, she typed like fast. She whirled away with That's scary. She's a robot. She's a robot. Run away. Understand what was going on. <laughs> didn't look up. My patience ran thin, and I wrote back. What is this supposed to mean? Her response came. I read only the letters in bold and shuddered. I looked back into her look webcam, up. and I fell back into my chair. My eyes widening. She was back there. Oh! She looks really scary. Demented. She had a savage Don't expression. Worry. I am protected. I'm a blanket, my dog, and my shotgun. And she was puffing as if she had extreme amounts of pent up rage. The way she looked directly into the camera made me feel she despised me with all of her being. It's broken. There was no amusement there anymore. I'm dead. Her camera went blank again. And the chat popped up. Ooh. My heart stopped again. For a split second, there had been the same blackness, only for the lights to come back on. Ooh. She wasn't alone anymore. Some bird mask, and dude. Next to her was a black mask on. Is there two of them? No, there's just one. Other than look into the camera like the girl. <laughs> the girl's neck was on her it's side. So she died. Like it was causing her pain. And then the lights she went died. out again. The chat resumed. This time, How do you put a smiley face on me? off my chair. There was a man with them now. He was standing next to the girl with the original one on the other side. I'm scared. This Just smiling. This man had the same mask on, but his hands were grasping you're not watching this the girl's night. shoulder. Even with the subpar quality of the webcam, I could see the force with which the man dug his hands into the girl. It looked like he could rip her in two. Probably could. The girl, however had a huge grin on her face. Her eyes were mad with glee, or so it looked. Her teeth were perfectly lined up as her <sighs> mouth spread into that toothy grin, but I could see she was in pain. Yeah. Even with the smallest sign of her smile fading, the man clenched his hands even tighter than before. Dude, she got kidnapped and now and she's like, kidnapped. All three of them were shaking, as if it was extremely cold where they were. After a couple seconds, I realized they were shuddering, like trying to hold back laughter. What are you laughing at? I yelled into the screen. 
Yeah, what are we looking at? And continued to tremor and now I'm scared. Hilarity. What is so damn funny? I bellowed. They stopped shaking. Within a couple seconds, the screen went black again. When it turned back on, <laughs> the man no longer grasped the girl's shoulder. Why are you pointing at me? Smiling. All three pointed into the camera. Well, Upon a closer twitching. look, I understood that they weren't pointing at me. They were pointing behind, guy behind you. I didn't need to look back. I could see myself they found in the you. webcam. They're gonna kill you, though. They're gonna there kidnap you, just like they kidnapped her. Behind me. There was another man in a mask. And according to what I saw on my webcam, he was with me in my room. You're dead. Right behind me. I turned around quickly and saw nothing where I had seen him. He's a ghost. Webcam. Turn back toward the You're on a chat box with a bunch of ghosts. Saw a third man in the oh. chat box. A strange was the same man I had just seen standing in my room. How do you know? They all have the same now, mask. All three had their hands on the girl and were gripping tight. The girl wasn't laughing anymore. She had a look of utter devastation. You're gonna die. A tear die. was dropping from her eye. But it wasn't just a tear. There was blood trickling down her eye socket. Is that actually possible? She then mouthed the words, help me. And the next second, she screamed as if her lungs were being ripped off as the screen went black. I immediately got up and pulled the plug out of my computer and backed out of the room. For a couple seconds, I swear I heard her screams, even though the computer was unplugged. The room went quiet, but I was too devastated to stay there and ran out of my house despite it being 3 a.m. <laughs> He ran out of your house at 3 a.m. over to my friends, who had to talk me down for an hour before I could be calmed. I returned back to my house with my friend a day later. Everything was the same. And after thoroughly checking around the house, we concluded that there was no one there. Not in the closet, not in the bed. Nor was there a sign of anyone <laughs> ever having <laughs> Why would he be in the cookie jar? I've never gone back to the deep. Why, why do you take my the cookie jar? I suggested it might have been some prank by computer hackers, <laughs> but the way that girl shrieked... <laughs> terror she had on her face it convinced me she had been a victim herself Probably. I wondered if I had stayed on for longer if I would have become a victim too could those men have found me was there really someone in the room with me no they could have dropped it there was nothing I could do but there was nothing concrete to report to the police but what I did do was throw the computer out oh, come me. on dude there was no just turn on your computer Exit out of the dark web and oh your computer turned on I was not expecting that go dad just one more thing Ooh. Hot Wheels is this ad sponsored by Hot Wheels hey where are you going I just want to watch this ad just to see how stupid. You're not supposed to scan the stuff that's at the store. You're supposed to buy it first. I bet. Because there's no point. Why would you ever want to just? What's the? Dad, I got you a present. The Rock Hopper. Get wrecked. He likes Hot Wheels more than you. All right. All right. So the next scary animation is gonna be. Uh, creepy, uh, wait, hold on, let me check again. A creepy Vacation Story 3 animated. So after this one, we're going to watch the first Dark Web one. So, yeah, let's get it started. <laughs> Scary Vacation Story 3. During my holiday, I spent about three weeks in Japan. I arrived pretty late, so I couldn't check into the hotel that I initially oh, booked. Oh, dang it, yeah. So I booked the cheapest hotel that I could oh, find okay. nearby. Okay, that's pretty smart. Just pick the cheapest Aesthetically, one. Aesthetically, it was quite nice. Oh, but I did cool. have easy access to the building, meaning anyone could come in okay, and go that's to any bad. room as they pleased. Plus, there was no security in sight. No secure. After arriving in Man. my room, I ordered some food and watched some TV. I was still pretty ice cream sandwich. from the flight, so I started to get is ready that, for bed. I don't know what that is. Is an ice cream sandwich asleep, or a I felt the urge to double check the door just to see if it was locked. I didn't think anything was going to happen, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. About five minutes after I checked the door, I heard footsteps outside. Initially, I thought it was someone leaving their room, but the yeah, footsteps started to pick up speed. 
Okay, there's a crazy the guy outside. The sound started getting louder and louder, and I started to freak out a little. All of a sudden, the sound stopped. I looked at the light shining through the bottom of the door. Yo! Okay, what kind of expecting you? At first, I thought it was room service, but it was too late for that. Why would it be room it service? Some drunk idiot Coming. who was at the wrong room. Yeah, some drunk idiot. As soon as I switched my light on, the shadow disappeared. Well, duh. Shadow's dirty. I was Shadow's confused, dirty. but I reluctantly Wait, yeah, went back to bed. Yeah, because the light inside is probably brighter than the outside. That's when I suddenly heard scratching coming from my door. So I immediately turned my light on and shouted, Who's there? Who's there? After a moment of silence, I heard the footsteps slowly fade away. At this point, I was thinking it could be some kids messing around, so I oh. got up, opened the door, and peeked my head outside. I glanced in both running. directions down the Watch. dark and That's slim just, hallways. You're gonna expect it. That's when my heart stopped. A man There's emerged a from the darkness and ran erratically towards me. I don't see me. a man. His face was contorted as he screamed, and I could see he was holding a knife in his right hand. As I got closer, I could see him more clearly. He had disgusting Ooh, long, dirty ugly. hair. His clothes were ripped, and he had cuts and bruises all over. Why did he fall on his knife? I slammed my door and pressed against it, praying that the man would just go away. After what felt like hours, the I finally gathered right now? my courage and looked at the Because I can see the palms of his hands. He was gone. I let out a sigh of relief and checked the peephole again. My heart started pumping faster than ever before. Oh, come on. He's not there. He was right in front of the door. Oh my gosh, this is He was is wearing so a big. maniacal smile on his face, and all of a sudden he raised his knife and yelled, I'm going to kill you! Oh, that has to be censored. I jumped back and kept my eyes locked on the bottom of the door as I backed up to my bed. I grabbed my phone and started dialing the police. Okay, that's good. I raised the phone to my ear saw that the shadow was gone. Oh my gosh. He knew when the police arrived, I tried to explain what happened, and they checked the security cameras. They almost immediately recognized the man. He had been doing this to people for a while now, and the okay, police had been trying to track him down for months. After he's a long a night of no sleep, he's not actually he finally arrived you. at the right hotel that I had booked initially in Tokyo. Okay. That creepy guy was still on my mind. I thought the chances of him being here were pretty slim, so I didn't bother locking my door that Wait, night. Wait, you didn't lock it? At 12.05 a.m., oh, I woke up to a big bang next to me. I turned around to see the same guy passed out on the floor. How, how did he pass? Wow. I was in shock. You were lucky? He, he could have just me? killed you while you were sleeping. I quickly ran out of the room and locked him inside. Okay, lock him inside. The cops came and he was finally arrested. That's good. Let's just say I'm always going to be locking my doors. Yeah, now. you should lock your doors all the t every time. Yeah, um, my my uh shotgun is still broken, so uh, don't worry, guys. Uh, I got a revolver. All right, so the next story is gonna be that the first uh dark web one. All right. Six thousand. Alright, so here it is. I was on tour trying to find some really deep websites. I was Why? in a chat room where people normally shared links to deeper websites and weird pictures and videos, commonly illegal pornography. Why? Some guy named Vintage Triple X posted a link without describing what it was. I clicked on it and it took me to a black screen where a big video box eventually popped up with a play button. The video thumbnail was a dark room, only lit by a TV screen. Yeah. Out of curiosity, I clicked play and began to hear the sound of TV static in the background as lines of static slowly swam down the video screen. Okay, there was no sleep bar on this video. Then, I noticed something slowly begin to emerge from behind the wall. It was a figure dressed in all black with some kind of black mask on as well. It's probably a jump scare video. I started to suspect it was a jump scare video. Yeah. And I thought I was right when the figure leaped out and ran to the screen in less than a second. That was scary. It still got me, even though I was expecting it. Oh, but then it got strange. The person had their face in front of the screen, slowly moving around as if he could see me and was observing yeah. me. Then yeah, I heard a crackly, it? demonic voice say something. It came from the video. It repeated itself, and I could make the phrase out to be, Ask you something. 
I was really confused. Ask me something. I tried typing something, but there was nowhere to enter text. Then he said, No, not the keyboard. Say something. I felt my heart punch the inside of my chest as he said this. I opened my mouth and mumbled the words, You can hear me? It responded with, Yes. I was uncomfortable now. I thought it was a video. I pressed pause, but it didn't do anything. He said, Don't try to leave. I want to talk. I tried moving the mouse to the exit button, but the mouse was frozen. In fact, none of the keys were responding on my keyboard. There was a long moment of silence before my webcam began flashing as if it were Put your on, finger over it. And my face popped up on the screen. Put your finger over it. There, I got a picture of you now. Now just hang on while I get your address, and then we can meet. I started to panic, smashing every key on the keyboard, spazzing the mouse, but it did nothing. I had my finger on the power button, but it also didn't do anything. Okay, that's... The computer wouldn't turn off. The voice was saying crazy things like, You're stuck here. I will find you. Don't even bother. I snatched the screwdriver okay. sitting on my desk, unscrewed the four screws on the bottom of my laptop, and took out the battery. Your laptop is a simple laptop. The computer finally turned off. You can just, you can just take out the... I was gasping for air as if I just ran a marathon. My heart was pounding five times as fast as it should have. I have since left my laptop off after that, and have resorted to using my desktop as my main computer. Okay. I'm sure by now nothing will happen. He definitely oh. didn't have enough time to get my address. Yeah, he did. He's right under your bed. Alright, so, yeah. I'm at the end of the video, guys. Um, leave a like, and subscribe for more videos. Subscribe if you like dogs.